Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Windsor Racecourse here on Monday. It is the 13th of May, 2024. I'm going to look the fifth race, 635 from Windsor. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And I mean it around the world. Let's look at the 635, the fifth race from Windsor, which is a Fitzdare Sprint Series handicap. It's a Class 3 handicap going for a $23,500 purse. Races for four year olds and upwards. Horses rate 71 to 90. Ten horses are contesting 1,200 meters or six furlongs on the turf course. Going to take the five horse Katie Content as a top selection. 597 for me in the Tricast Trifecta. 597 Tricast Trifecta. Top selection of five horse Katie Content. This four of Havana Gray, Clive Cox Trench, Ross Ryan gets to mount. The horse's most recent appearance came on the 5th of October at Salisbury. Six furlongs off ground class four handicap and the horse finished second by a half a length that day. He's, he had a very good outside post right? he settled well towards the front end. The winner had the jump on him. This horse, you know, got down the race course while on the yielding ground. Not a bad race. As the season went on last year, this horse really got better. It's coming back here to Windsor, first off the bench, I think this horse is in a very good spot. Gets an inside poster, which I'd rather have the opposite way, an outside poster with this one. But I think he has enough stamina to win here off the bench. Two back the horse ran at Yarmouth on yielding ground. Six furlongs in a class three Phillies handicap. And she finished third by length that day. And she had a little lackadaisical trip that day. Didn't get out of the gate so clearly. And she just couldn't get there. It wasn't her day to win. And then it sat down on firm ground. Six furlongs in a class two Phillies handicap. She finished fourth by four and a quarter lengths that day. And she just kind of plodded along. She ran okay, but she needed something more. Uh, and then off the bench at Newberry. Uh, five furlongs in a class three handicap. Finished third by three and a quarter lengths that day. Again, I thought she wanted more ground, but she got around the race course well. Refreshing here against these horses off the bench. She could win. I think a horse for the quad pot would be the nine horse Coupe La Force for Rook and uh, Stuart Kitto. Most recently at Wolverhampton in October, six furlongs in a class four handicap. The horse finished second by two and a half lengths. Just had a wide trip, but he was gaining that day. Prior to that, had a very bad trip at soft ground at Bath, six furlongs in a class four handicap, where the horse finished six by two and a quarter lengths, never really getting going. And then at Goodwood in September, five furlongs in a class four handicap, finishing fifth by two lengths. Just got outclassed by the others that day. Horse's most recent victory last summer at Wolverhampton was quite impressive over the five frogs in a class five handicap. Went by a neck that day. He really put on a show on the front end. Refreshing here against these horses. He could win. I'm going to use him on the ticket. But to recount my selection for the 635 fifth race from Windsor, going to take the five horse Katie Content. Give kudos to the nine horse Coupe Le Force. Uh, 597 Tricast Trifecta. 5-9 in the multi-race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck.